he, uh, as I say, he started out as a baseball player, not so much a student, I have to say, more baseball than a student. He got injured his freshman year playing baseball, and then I think started focusing on studies after that. The late 60s, time of turmoil on campus during the student movement, Vietnam War and all that, and Mike was uh, very much interested in those issues and active in them. By then, he was a very serious student, goes to graduate school, ends up with a PhD at USC. I've seen how he works in the classroom, and he's, uh, I can understand why he's a popular professor. Very entertaining lecturer, uh, engages with the students. He, he has his views and he's passionate about principles that he believes in, but he's also very objective. He's able to analyze a situation or a, uh, an issue that's going on. And then he won this national award from the American Political Science Association for Distinguished Teaching, which is kind of a big deal. He spent a lot of time in Europe, and especially at Oxford um, and in, um, in universities around London, and he's now a fellow at Queen's College in, at Oxford. He's got friends in Parliament. He has met by force of his scholarly work, but also personality. He engages with people from all over. He's written more books than I've read. He's uh, written 50 books plus. Mainly they're uh, nonfiction and primarily focused on the presidency and issues related to the presidency. We're to Los Angeles now, Michael Genovese, the president of the Global Policy Institute. He's been a regular guest or commentator. You know, they'll bring him on like whatever the, typically there's a current issue. Um, um, and if, especially if it relates to the presidency, they'll bring him on and explain what's going on explain the political implications and also explain the governing uh, implication. California is also moving up its primary, right? And that's going to make us much more relevant because we might be the kingmaker mm. or the queenmaker. <laughs> I like how you put that. He's able to take a kind of a fuzzy or complicated deal and, and put it in terms that a, a local news audience or even a national news audience can, can understand. So interesting to have you here tonight. Thank you. What a night. Having this notion of service and community and responsibility, um, but also kind of playful and fun and, and uh, convivial. I think that's all part of the St. Mary's experience. On behalf of the St. Mary's Alumni Association, it's my pleasure to honor Michael Genovese as the Alumnus of the Year. Congratulations, Mike.